So in season one, we got teases of, you know, like that possibility we might see a formation of the outsiders in one way or another. Are we going to see more of that this season with, you know, you three guys, maybe some other members? Well, you got to tune in to see. <laughs> this is what I'll say, that you will see a little bit more of Anissa's love life and her trying to drug juggle and manage and balance love, career, being an activist, and, you know, just trying to, you know, make sure her sister and her family is also, you know, always reminding her, like, don't forget about, you know, you need to get out there. Like, I'm, she's so, you know, hell-bent on justice and, you know, fighting for her community that sometimes she forgets that she, you know, needs a little bit of love, you know? So, you'll see more of that. With Grace, hopefully? I don't know. I mean, we will tune in. Just, just give us something. You gotta tune in to see. If I tell you, you don't have to tune in. Of course, I'll tune if in. If I tell you, you won't be excited or the anticipation, or you know, you'll know. Um, speaking of fashion, yes, um, you be stomping, oh. stomping in that suit. Thank you. Like, Thank what was you. It like the first time you put that on, I cried. That's it's cool because when I when I was here last year. You know, we were just getting our feet wet with the show and we had only shot like 12 minutes. So to be here this year and to have the full experience of a first season. So there was no conversation on my suit when I was here last year, but I cried. I felt just really, really um, honored to have been chosen to play this character and give my voice over to her. And I'm looking in the mirror like, you know, I didn't have a superhero who looked like me growing up. So to know that I'm being that model for young women that are, you know, younger than myself was just really emotional and overwhelming. So I cried. I'm gonna cry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what can we look forward to with the relationship between your character and Grace? <sighs> Y'all trying to trick me. He just asked me that same question. <laughs> Kinda ish. I did not hear, I'm sorry. Ish. Um, you have to tune in to see because I don't want to get anything away, but Grace will be back. Happy? Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Tuesday, October 9th, but thanks to Instagram. Yes. Good. So I noticed that you and Jen uh, had like a fight a few uh, views as far as having superpowers. Yeah. So I was just wondering, you as a person, would you have taken uh, the fences? Sorry. Happy Seth? That's okay. Would you have taken your character's point of view or would you have taken Jen's point of view? Like being like afraid of maybe not being normal now or. I really can't say, but I will say this, that I share a lot of the same qualities as Anissa. If there's something that I believe in, like I fight for it, and like no one can stop me, whether they agree or not, you know, if I have the vision and I feel like it's a purpose that I've been giving from God, like this is something that she feels like she's been blessed with and she's supposed to use. And that's what she's trying to convince Jen, like we're, we were given the gift to use it, so just trying, that, that struggle of trying to convince her to embrace it, you know, is challenging for the character because Anissa is just like, this is what we're supposed to be doing, like we were given the gift to save our community, so I definitely, I, I would probably, knowing me, if I'm into it, I'd be more like how, how it is. Yeah. You talking about the fight choreographies? Even now, are you uh, prepared train train wise uh, physically yourself? Yeah, I'm in um, I'm in stunt training. You know, I do most of my stunts. If y'all see somebody flipping or doing something weird, that ain't me. <laughs> and I give credit over to the you know my stunt double for just being great and being a strong you know fighter trained in stunts. Me, I just try to make sure that I work out at least about five days a week so that I can build up that endurance and have that stamina to get through the season and to get through my fights and I feel like the more in shape I am the better I can give over in stunt rehearsal and then eventually on camera. Does yeah. your um, character want to see Jennifer become a superhero? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's been that's been my whole argument with her. Again, just trying to convince her like this is a gift that we're supposed to be using and you know we're not normal. Face it. You know, we are who we are and we're supposed to use our gifts. So I definitely, I want to see in season two us teaming up and hitting the streets together. Like, I, I'll can you imagine, like, how fun and, and badass that would be? <laughs> so. so the music has been awesome. Yeah, so, oh my God, the soundtracks are. Uh, so have you, 
uh, had a chance to make suggestions or make requests, so to speak? Yeah, I definitely let Celine know like who my favorite artists are and the music that inspires the character, and you know, in hopes that it'll be you know a part of the show. But they do a really, really good job with scoring. Like sometimes I step out of the, the idea of me being a part of the show and just as a fan listening to the music and just going back and how some of the music is. You know, we hit all all generations. It's like we'll throw something a little older or more wise in there, and then you turn on Timmy Turner, and it's just like, whoa, like it's the best of the world. I think the music is, is what makes it even greater, you know? I um, talked to one of the writers at WonderCon, and yeah? he talked about the episodes of the statue and show is that we're touching on real issues that are really happening in our country and we're hopefully you know bringing enough light to it that we are creating change hopefully that's the hope you know what I mean so it's like as, as difficult as some of these scenes are hard to, to watch and to witness it's real and that's what we want to you know showcase on the show let's keep it raw and let's you know, let's let's make sure that we are connecting with the people and you know the, the real experiences that we're really going through. Speaking of connecting, you know, I even though Light Light isn't part of the Arrowverse, you got you were part of this amazing line of LGBT characters that we have. Has there been a stamina moment you met a fan and you know has really you know, stu- you know because uh, you're, you're you're becoming a role model. A lot of girls and then also boys. So like, what has stood out to you as you know seeing all the reception? I get so emotional. <laughs> I do. I'm a part of the culture. I'm emotional. But I that after seeing Thunder, she feels normal being a lesbian. Oh, wow. Yeah, so to know that I'm being used in such a powerful and dynamic way inspires me to not only walk boldly in who I am, but, um, you know, to know that young girls are watching, so to, to wear it well and make sure, you know, I'm being mindful that, that this is, you know, she, and this uh, Thunder is a model for, for young women, you know, to walk in their confidence, to be a unapologetically who they are. So, yeah, it's been great. That was the most rewarding, having a young woman in tears, saying that she feels normal after seeing Thunder. That is overwhelming. Well, no, you're having us men crying here because I'm LGBT and I'm, you know, I thank you a role model. I love it. Thank you. Thank you.